Hello and hi everybody, I'm back with another video. Now this time, we're back at it with another one from How To Basic. This one is titled, How To Make Beef uh, Wellington. I don't know what I don't know what kind of beef this is. I don't eat fancy kind of food like this. I'm just simple, basic, mostly eat fast food. So yeah, I don't know what kind of beef this is. And yeah, it's been a while since I reacted to a How To Basic video. I mean, he only uploads like one video every couple months, so. Yeah, but with that being said, before we get into this, click the original link in the description down below, go watch the original video, subscribe to Hello Basic if you have not yet already. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into this and stop talking. So here we go. How to make beef wellington. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions and you'll make the best beef wellington. Beef wellington. You'll need black pepper, flaky salt, canola oil, Dijon mustard, Dijon mustard. button mushrooms, button garlic, mushroom. garlic, shallots, shallots, beef tenderloin, prosciutto, and buff pastry. Start by finely chopping four garlic cloves. Okay. Okay. And put in a little bowl. Six shallots. And some shallots. Those look like onions. <clears throat> you can tell I can't cook because I don't know what each thing is. Okay, put in a glass bowl. And finally, 600 grams of button mushrooms. Damn, that's a lot of mushrooms. Holy! Do you really need that much mushrooms? You want the mushrooms to be as finely chopped as possible. Place a pan over medium heat. Add the chopped garlic, shallots, and two tablespoons of canola oil. Sweat the vegetables until they start to turn translucent. <laughs> then add the mushrooms. That is Go a for approximately ten minutes. That's a lot of mushrooms. The liquid has released and simmered off. Place the mixture into a bowl. I know it's how to base it, but is this really the real recipe? Next, we're going to season the tenderloin with salt. Flaky salt. Add pepper. Okay. This looks normal Make for sure both sides meat. are thoroughly covered. Next, add a generous amount of canola oil into a pan. Bring to high heat. Then sear the tenderloin on all sides for a couple of minutes. Okay. Ensure you sear both ends too. Remove from heat and immediately cover completely with Dijon mustard. It's important to do this while it's still hot. Okay. This ensures that the mustard flavor is fully absorbed into the meat. Okay. Next, you're going to need your prosciutto, puff pastry, and mushroom mix. Okay. Before you start crafting the beef wellington, you're going to need to... Oh my god, here we go. It's already going down. Tenderize the meat. Oh! Can you use this foot? Really? <laughs> the karate chopping everything. Oh my god. And a sock. What the fuck? God damn it. You beating that me good. Stop. Okay. What the fuck? What the hell? Okay. Uh, oh. Now it's time to craft the beef wellington. Place down your buff pastry. Lay around the prosciutto. Evenly spread the mushroom mix. That's a lot Shift of mushrooms. Place down your beef at the base. Now you're going to need some egg wash. Oh boy, eggs. Gently it's not how to basic without eggs. Both ends of the puff pastry. Uh. Grab the puff pastry and slowly roll it around your entire tender. God damn. Garnish with flaky salt. Gently. Pick up the beef wellington. Heat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Fan forced. Carefully place it into He's the He's gonna oven. throw it in there. Yep. Except he Bake threw it at it, not in minutes. it. What? Serve it's not even in there. Look how good this beef wellington looks. The looks like my vomit. And tender, and the outside pastry is incredibly crispy. Just crispy, my ass. How crispy that pastry is. <laughs> Yeah, very crispy. It sounds like a bell. Enjoy. Oh, good old how to basic. <laughs> should I should I go back and react to old how to basic videos? Because, I mean, I barely watch how to basic nowadays. It's only when I react to it. <laughs> I remember years ago, I would constantly react, not react, but watch how to basic videos almost every day because of how entertaining they are. So, yeah, I mean, you can give me your opinions in the comments and I'll see what I'll do. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to Age on the Fam and I'll catch you guys later in the next one whenever I start doing that. So, take care.